so hey my loves welcome back to my channel if this is your first time on my channel you are so welcome to the channel in today's video i really want to talk about how to embrace your natural hair when it's short um and basically how to rock your teeny weeny afro with confidence so if you are someone who has like a teeny weeny afro or you just did like a big chop then this video is for you if you don't um, feel like you are confident enough to rock it okay so yeah if you're interested you want to keep on watching this video so hey guys um first of all i want to say a very big thank you for the support that i have gotten ever since i did my big job i am so grateful thank you guys for sticking with me on this new journey and to my new subscribers hi <laughs> welcome to the family so this video is inspired by some of the comments and the dms that i have gotten recently so a lot of people you know come to me and they are like they've been thinking about getting a big chop and some of them want to even start their natural hair journey but they just feel like it's not going to fit them some of them give so many reasons as to why it will fit them with their head size and you you hear them going ahead to say oh um, my head is big and it's not going to fit me and i feel i'm just like sis don't say that to yourself that is just not good for you to say to yourself okay so um in this video i want to basically give you guys some practical tips on how to wear any hairstyle not just even a teeny weeny afro and wear it with confidence so basically when i get comments like this based on oh i want to try like cutting my hair but i just feel like it's not going to fit me there's usually this is this comment is usually coming from a place of this already set beauty standard which we we kind of want to follow so um you would see that as a woman people the standard or the beauty stand the beauty standard out there is that as a woman you should have like long hair right but then there, there are women that are actually rocking bowed hair with so much confidence an example is sophie sophie is the most confident person person about her looks about her body about her hair she doesn't she doesn't grow out her hair but she's so confident she, there was a time where a lot of naturals we blacks we were always relaxing our hair okay and then it, the era came where every relaxed person was you know transitioning or doing big chops just to start growing their natural hair i don't know if you guys remember that era but there was an era of oh chibi butter there was one other thing i think caca oil there was just a lot of things around that time that were focused on starting natural hair if you guys remember so the beauty standards are going to always be changing you can see now that um, probably in the next two years everybody is going on low cuts it's always changing so um do you if you feel like you want to get a big chop if you feel like you just want to start afresh you want something new a low cut do it and don't think about what people are going to say so yeah um i got a lot of you know nice comments about how people said who oh, have been positive about my big chop journey if you are new if this is your first video on my channel i had to cut my head due to heat damage and there's a video on it which i'll leave in the cards and in the description box which you can check out to understand where we're coming from okay so basically i had this whole positive mindset about the whole thing and people really admired that and honestly i didn't start like it, it's it's been a journey for me to be this you know confident so we, confidence is like a journey it's not just oh be confident and your confidence today okay so it's like a process like a journey and um one thing that has helped me on that journey is basically not trying to put my value in things that are not solid for example hair you know these little little things i feel like um confidence is from within so um it's not basically a matter of appearance appearance will help boost your confidence definitely but um when you are confident from within it's not difficult to show and you know portray that confidence outside so i feel like it's something that you would have to you know work on from the inside it is not dependent on what other people are thinking about you it is not dependent on their validation and you don't need anybody's validation to tell you that oh you should be confident in this hairstyle you should be confident in this hairstyle so if that is what you want go for it the world is literally going to adjust like the world is going to adjust like people that are very familiar with me people that are following me for my long natural hair they have really honestly adjusted to the to my greatest surprise like everybody is really supportive and you know everybody wants to see my growth my progress from now so um the world is going to adjust if you decide to cut your hair today and you are wearing it with confidence the world would adjust it depends on how you carry yourself so if i came on that video now and i was like oh 
um, I lost my hair and I come there crying, you know, sad and not positive about the whole thing. It's gonna send a different message across to people. So people are gonna be like, oh, she's not confident. So you need to wear the confidence, okay? Do not seek it from other people. Do not seek validation from other people. Like I said, I wouldn't place my value on things that are not solid. So let's say for my, for my case now, I never planned, like it wasn't my plan, at least not in the like, near future to cut my hair, but it just happened. And are you trying to tell me that, okay, so um, because I cut my hair, I would never bring up my head again. Because I cut my hair, I would never come on camera again. No, it's, it's that's, not, that's not where my value is, okay? So whether my hair is short, whether my hair is long, I'm still beautiful. But you can't tell me nothing. Yeah, so the first thing I'm gonna tell you is to basically practice self-compassion. By this, I mean you need to be kind to yourself, sweetheart. You need to be kind to yourself. Saying things like, my head is too big, it's never going to fit me. It is not being kind to yourself. And honestly, you don't need that. You wanna be your biggest, biggest cheerleader. You wanna be your biggest fan. You wanna be your biggest supporter. Okay, do not use your own mouth and say, oh, I, I have a big head. Like, sis, your head, <laughs> The size of your head is perfect for who you are. I'm not going to really make this into a motivational speech, but the size of your head is the perfect size for you because everybody is uniquely created. So the earlier you start embracing it, the easier it gets for you, okay? So stop the whole negativity, stop negative self-talk, so throw all of that away because it's not helping you. Yeah, avoid, stop, don't, don't even avoid it. Stop it completely. Stop negative self-talk. It is not good for your health. It is not good for you, okay? So replace the negative thoughts with positive words to yourself, okay? My second tip is basically the fact that people are going to adjust. You just want to do it and not think about what people are going to say. One way that I would advise for you to not be caring too much about what people say is by not taking things personal. So you need to go like a thick skin when it comes to negative comments because sometimes people might be negative if you decide to go bow today trust me a lot of people are going to be negative but female but male a lot of people are going to come for you but when you grow this thick skin i'm using thick skin for lack of words when you grow this confidence when you are confident in the choices that you've made trust me nothing should be able to get to you so you can do this by not taking things too, too personal just like not everything deserves your energy not everything deserves a reaction from you some things you just see it and you're like okay moving on literally so not everything should be getting to you don't take things too personal and i feel like that is going to help you because trust me people can be mean like and this is people can be really mean and no matter how the internet tries to tell people oh be kind to people whenever a bad thing happens and i don't know why it's only when bad things happen that people remember to be kind but then as much as you want you can say be kind every day on the internet and people who want to be mean will be mean so you yourself you need to protect yourself and shield yourself from these negative comments so boost your confidence grow a thick skin to negative comments and you'll be fine okay the next thing that i have for you is to just do it like seriously what's stopping you just do it if you want to get a big chop if you want to start afresh and you've been thinking about it you can do it just do it sis. just do it but before you do it i just want you to kind of assess everything if it's really what you want to do because once you cut your hair there's really no going back if that makes sense yeah that should make sense there's really no going back so make sure that it is the right decision that you want to take for yourself and then go ahead and just do it don't don't overthink it just do it okay okay so now that you've cut your hair you've decided to just do it and you want to start a fresh you want a fresh start i would say try your best to look good at it like look your best while you're at it that is one thing that would also help to boost your confidence because um you can't just be leaving your hair unattended to no care no attention you just leave your hair like that you could do finger cuts i have a vision of that you could go to the um barbing salon and tell them that you oh you want like a very defined cut they could give you like really cute cuts trust me and it doesn't have to be boring you could also dye your hair they are temporary hair colors um i have a link i would leave a link to one where you can shop because i'm not going to advise you to like permanently dye your hair or use like the actual permanent dyes even though you can still like wash it off over time but this temporary hair color curl fit you can literally wash it off the same day that you 
like apply it and it's really easy to use i also have a video which i'm going to leave so that you guys can check it out so yeah you can dye your hair you can go to a barbing salon and get like a very defined cut you could do like finger curls finger waves guys it's endless trust me so you don't it doesn't have to be boring you have to look good at it also if you are you know like probably going out and you feel like oh you should only wear your your teeny mini afro at home it doesn't have to be so if you're going out you can put on some makeup and that's just also going to help boost your confidence this is not to say okay this is not to say that you are not beautiful like without makeup you are beautiful without makeup i think we should all be on the same page at this at this topic right we are beautiful without makeup we know this so um yeah what i'm going to now say is you can just put on makeup to you know just bring the whole look together i feel like makeup and hair those two things they like bring <laughs> they bring the whole look together but if you're not a makeup fan that's fine as well if it's not looking um attractive to you you have to spice things up yourself you can accessorize you could wear jewelry earrings necklaces rings and um, bangles just to accessorize your whole look and everything would literally come together if that makes sense so yeah <laughs> and i also want to say that on some days where you're really not feeling like it we natural sometimes we um, get tired of taking care of our hair we get tired of you know just playing around with our hair or we get tired of just handling our hair sometimes it's a lot of work we know this that natural hair takes a lot of care and time so on on days like this you could just put on a wig and trust me wigging with low cuts has to be the easiest thing ever you just throw your wig on you don't really need cornrows just immediately until your um your hair grows out and then you can cornrow it but if you don't if your hair is really low it's it's very easy to wear a wig okay so i feel like anybody like absolutely anybody can look good in anything they want to it just has to be with you like you need to wear whatever it is with confidence be it a blonde wig a low cut even being bald anything it depends on you and how you carry yourself so do you the world is going to definitely adjust trust me the world is going to adjust the fact that you are wearing it with confidence it radiates so if you are walking into a room and you're not confident you're walking in with your chin down it sends across the bad message that oh this person is not a confident person and then people now react based on that energy that you've given off so um yeah you just need to be confident that's really all i have to say um these are the tips that i have for you guys thank you so much for watching if you watch up to this point thank you so much for watching this video um i'm really grateful please if you liked it give it a thumbs up subscribe if you are new and i'll see you guys in my next one thank you so much for watching Bye, guys.